Hi, I'm going to teach you how to use this incredible Dyson Air app. You're not going to want to get rid of it anymore. You're going to want to keep it because it really creates a lot of shine, a lot of body, and it's not damaging like other blow dryers. I have used every blow dryer you can think of, from a Babyliss Pro to a Gamma. This is amazing for at-home use and even in for the salon, I absolutely love it. It's really great for hair that needs more body. If you have really coarse, super thick curly hair that you need to smooth out, it, your results are going to vary. But this is incredible for people who need body and who people who have fine, thin hair. As you can tell, I'm blowing all of my roots. Basically, that's what I am doing. I'm not drying the ends. I am blowing the roots and to create a lot of volume. And as you can see, it really creates a lot of volume. And depending on your hair type and the amount of highlights, you're going to want to be very gentle around the front. I have to turn my heat down around the front. And I always comb my hair out before I start this next step. And I get it parted the way that I'm going to style it. I prefer to style mine like a 90s blowout. I have been doing this for years. This is my staple haircut that I have had for years. So I like to part it, you know, from ear to ear and then pull that front forward and then put on the brush attachment that has all those little, it's the thick one for coarse hair. It's my favorite. It's amazing for smoothing hair and giving body, even on fine hair. I use this one all the time. This is my go-to. And as you can tell, I'm lifting it up from the root and pulling it toward my face with this front section. I do it differently than I do the rest. And as you can see, it creates a lot of shine and a lot of body. And it really makes a lot of smoothness. And I'm not drying it completely all the way. I'm just getting a nice base and a nice roundness as if I'm having a blowout with a round brush. Then I get the crown and I do the exact same thing. I manipulate that crown by pulling it forward toward my face to add maximum volume. After that, I start to pull everything forward. I'm using leverage from my head by parting my hair down the middle and pulling everything forward. I use leverage from my head and my hair to create body, lift, smoothness, and shine. This works on everyone. I go up and around around my ears. This really helps get that crown smooth and eliminate the split down the back. And then I take everything and just turn it under. It creates such a great smooth base for what we're going to do. And you actually could stop with this if um, you wanted to. You do not even have to do this next step that I'm going to tell you. But wait until I show you what I'm going to use at the end. It is just completely different from any tutorial, which really and truly, I'll be honest with you, when I opened up the Dyson, I did not watch tutorials. I'm a hairdresser. I just figured it out as I went. And this is what I found out. This is how I figured out how to use it. And um, so this is what works for me and all of my clients. This part is amazing. Make sure, see how I have my hair parted and I have my crown again? Make sure you have the arrows going to where the hair wants to wrap around. But I'm not wrapping my ends. I am only bumping my root, tapping the air wrap back and forth to create maximum volume at the root and at the base. So I am completely drying the base of my hair at, you know, at the root is what I'm doing now. And by pulling that down slowly, I am making it have like a round brush effect by barely tapping those ends under. I repeat this step all throughout my hair, all throughout the base in different little sections, I usually to do two around the face from ear to ear. I will do my front forward. And then it's almost like, think of it as a roller set. You know, that's really what I think of this as. I'm using this in a way like a round brush, how I would section out a round brush. 
and how I would do a roller set. And you have to make sure your your um, arrows are pointing in the right direction. Usually the back is a different direction than the front. And I'm a lot of times I will wrap the very back because my hair's long and I can't see what I'm doing. So I just wrap it all like a, a hot roller. I repeat, you know, my whole head. So after you use this air wrap tool, the wand feature, your hair's gonna be dry. It's, you know, it's, it's drying it as it is turning it under and bumping it up at the root. And depending on how your hair is cut, it's depending on how well it holds, what type of products you use. I have used air products for this video. And if, as you see, I bring that very front bang fringe part forward. And then I'm gonna go around the sides and the crown again and just make sure everything's good and dry and nice and bumped up and lifted. And as you can tell, you gotta turn that wand arrow. It's sort of hard to remember, but the more you use this, you're gonna get the hang of it and it's gonna be super, super, super easy. This next step, I just return the ends under around my face and make everything look uniform. I'm gonna shake it out real nice and then there you have it. You've got huge, voluminous Bridget Bardot, Goldie Hawn, 90s supermodel Cindy Crawford <laughs> hair inspiration. It's it's really amazing. I love I love 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 this Dyson hair wrap. If you have any questions in the comments, um, just leave them there. Like, share, subscribe, share the wealth.